Then you want a nigga that's over six feet. Then you want a nigga that's handsome. Then you want a nigga that got status and some sort of popularity. You also want him to just dig you out. Delusional ass bitch. YouTube, what did you? It's your boy Steph. Welcome back to another video. We're going to dive into a cold video topic. But before we do, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Steph is Cold. And make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at Steph Code. If you guys want one-on-one -on -one consultations with me, make sure you go to stephascode.com. Everything will be linked in the comment section. starting to grow feelings for me but i want to let you know who i am as a person first and foremost i don't see myself at this time period with me being 19 years old with me have not experienced my 20s and all this stuff i do not see me being just loyal to you but in the beginning i told her i said yo i'm a loyal individual but i cannot i i can't i can't i can't sit here and lie to you and say um if I be with you, it's just going to be you. you the only person I'm going to have sex with. Or you you would be the only partner. And um, and she took it in and she was like, no, that's different. It's different. Um, I appreciate your honesty. Nobody's ever been that honest and straight up with me. Um, if we was to get together, we could work. I think I could work with that. All right, so boom. I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm like, in the, in the process of this, I think I found my match for my and the next thing was, I said, um, I don't see myself having one wife. And that's another thing, Marissa, she was big on marriage. She was big on marriage. So I'm like, I'm like, I, I had to let her know, like, I don't see myself having one wife. I said, I'll probably marry you, but you will have to, you know, be cool with the simple fact that I believe in polygamy. So you may not be the only person that, that, that I would, that I would marry. You know what I'm saying? And I let her know that. And she was like, mm. she was like, that's different. Um, I feel like that's cool. I feel like that's something I can work on with being open to as well. So, so this was pretty much the thing she was, in no disrespect, Marissa was willing to give up all of these things that she felt that she was going to get from um, just out of life. And the next thing was with me in a sense of hope. I feel like she was with me in a sense of hope and I grew out of it. Um, she was willing to do everything. Did she want to do it? Her, her, her mind and her heart wanted to do it. But her soul, that was not what her soul wanted. Um, and, in the, and, and in the sense of that, like, I felt wrong. That's why I left. That's why... That's why I had to distance myself. Because I was not, I'm not ready for that. That's the part of my life I'm not ready for. It's like we was in two different worlds. And it's like every day I had to bring her back into mine to let her know like, hey, you told me this is what you wanted. This is what you signed up for. She was with me in a status. If I'm caught up, if I'm, if, if me, if me or you say, if I tell you I'm a cheat or whatever, and you say, I'm cool with that as long as you take care of home, and which I do, I take care of home, make sure you're right physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, um, everything, make sure I'm hands on with everything. But the littlest bit of peace where I want to do is where I do my dirt at. Because I let you know that and you and you approved of it, you signed up for it, you said it was cool. And once I do it, I don't get the peace of mind to do it. I don't feel free. And I don't feel I don't feel free to who I am as a person. I gotta stick with it. That is the conclusion to that video segment that we just watched. And and um, you know, I feel him hundred percent. He's nineteen, I'm twenty-five. Um, there's a lot of other young 19 year olds that's listen to this video. There's a lot of the other, other young 19 year olds who are inspired by NLE Chopper, right? And he speaks very, very well. He understands the knowledge. He's definitely rap pill. He's 
definitely understand female nature. I'm gonna tell y'all this about female nature. They never, never, never accept the truth. They, 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 they cannot. It is so hard for them to accept the truth. You know, you got these memes going around everywhere. Women are saying, uh, us men hate women and we don't like women. The reality is women, y'all don't like men. And that's the reality. I hate to say this, but y'all don't like us because we don't think like you guys. Y'all don't like us because we only like majority the face, the body, and what you're doing for us when you're using those things. Y'all don't like that. You want us to like you for your money or because you're funny or all this other goofy extra bullshit that you think we like you for but in reality baby that's not the truth we like you because you look good in them yoga pants and them titties is busting out that sports bra we like you because them lips look really good and that skin is glistening and it's glowing and that hair looks really good and it's long and it look healthy we like you because you are sexy we like you because you objectify yourself you like you because you objectify yourself i mean without objectifying yourself you don't even exist you don't exist you think you exist beyond that but you don't exist women want all these women want these you know six figures eight inch digging stick you know we got something on instagram that said that woman on instagram said uh anything over eight is big she said she don't, she said she not she not talking to dudes that got anything over eight that bitch is delusional as fuck dumbass bitch Dumb, just dumb, delusional. Anything over seven, no homo. You're a one percent guy. You're a one percent guy. But the woman would say, "Oh, that ain't big." Anything over a hundred thousand dollars a year, you a ten percent guy. But a woman would say, "That's not a lot of money." Again, how many niggas you know making eight to ten thousand dollars a month? Then you want a nigga that's over six feet. Then you want a nigga that's handsome. Then you want a nigga that got status and some sort of popularity. Then you want a nigga that other women want. But you also want him to just dig you out. Delusional ass bitch. Delusional as fuck. And then, you know, women have no game. So they run the same game on these, these, these guys. Baby girl, I'm letting you know what it is. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not monogamous. You know what I'm saying? I ain't looking to be, you know, tied down and committed to just you in marriage. You know, I believe in marriage and stuff like that. But, you know, I want more than one woman. You know, I love you. I take care of you. You know what I'm saying? But this is just who I am as a man. Oh, okay. I can, I, I can. She, she's shaking her hair like, oh, okay. I'm, in my, in her head, she's like, I'm going to change this man. I'm going to make this man monogamous. They always want to make the alpha monogamous but never want to make the nice guy they never want to change the nice guy but they always want to change the bad boy why is that let's really sit back and just say like why 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 is that why is that she wants to always change the bad boy but never want to change the nice guy c26 we already know 27 is that danger zone Shout out to Kevin Simmons, rest in peace. 27 is that danger zone. We already know what that means. Like, huh, I'm, I'm getting older. Uh, I'm, I'm not in my prime like that anymore. And we know a woman's prime is, you know what I'm saying, the beauty and how many, how many digging sticks she didn't had. The beauty and how many digging sticks she had. It ain't just about the beauty. It's the beauty and the digging sticks. So we know hella digging sticks been running in and out of her by the time they get older, right? 27 is the danger zone now she's looking for monogamy even though when she was in her prime she wasn't looking for monogamy even though when she was in her prime she ain't just want one nigga even though when she was in her prime she ain't want to commit herself to that nice guy nigga they don't play the game fair why the fuck should you why should you you think she wanted to just bounce on one digging stick in her prime you think she just wanted to talk to one nigga when she was in her prime when she was lit no! Why the fuck should you? Because because what Blue Pill Society says so? Because she fucking says so? Because she says so? He's 
19. He not even in his prime yet, but he really is in his prime because he's a public figure, NLE Chopper. He's a public figure. He has status, he has the look. Very intelligent, got the money. She's crying because she has to face reality. She's not crying because he broke her heart. He didn't break her heart. He didn't break her heart. He broke her ego. He didn't break her heart. He didn't break her heart. She like, damn. I really gotta accept this. So you know when a woman try to gaslight you, it make you as a man feel bad. That's why he said, you know, I feel bad. That's what narcissists do. Narcissists make you feel bad for you living your truth. Even though you told her what the fuck it was, she's gonna make you feel bad and shame you. So now you gotta remove yourself from the fucking situation. You gotta just step step back. You gotta remove yourself. You gotta step the way over here to remove yourself from her. Thank God he didn't get her pregnant. This is a lesson that I just want to share with you guys, bro. Women always make it seem like they like honesty until you give them honesty and they don't like honesty. They do not like that shit. They do not want you to approach them and say, you know what, baby girl, all I'm trying to do is just get in your sweet watery guts. I ain't even going to lie to you. Nah, they want you to sell them a fantasy, sell them a dream. And L.E. was straight up with her. Look, baby girl, I like you. You know what I'm saying? You cool. You know what I'm saying? I like our relationship. I like what we got. But, you know, you ain't going to be the only girl I want to have sex with. I'm sorry. I'm 19. I'm sorry. I don't even know what's out there. Now, you probably know what's out there because, you know, women in their prime, they women be in their prime at 15, 16. Let's not act like that's cap. Women be pulling niggas at 15, 16. When I was in high school, them bad chicks when I was in my high school, they had the ballers pulling up from different schools, nigga pulling up. College niggas pulling up. So of course she ready to settle down. Of course that, that, that epiphany, once that epiphany phase come, of course they want to settle down now. But baby girl, don't, don't try to shame me for trying to settle down. I don't know what's out there. I'm 19. I'm not even 20. I'm 19. I don't even know what's out there. I don't even know what's out there. Women want the relationship. Women want the marriage, not us. Women want the commitment, not us. We don't want, we, we, I just want the guts. I just want to have a good time. You can't have a good time without catching feelings. That's why you was crying. She can't have a good time. That's what I'll catch a feeling. That's why she always asks you about your girlfriend or your baby mama or your wife. After you already told her what the fuck it was. Why you keep on bringing up shit that I already keep telling you? See, he had to, he had to keep on trying to bring her in his world when she should already be in his world. He got to keep on reminding her, hey, baby girl, I told you that I'm, I'm fucking with other hoes. I already told you what it was. Baby girl, I told you I, I, I want to be with other women too. I ain't talking about 10 other women, maybe one or two. Baby girl, I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you the truth. They can't handle the fucking truth. They can't handle that. But here's where the delusion comes in at. Y'all women want these kind of men to just be just for you. You got to be the most delusional bitch on earth. You got to be, you got to be super delusional to think that he just belongs to you. Because what we get all the time, we got these women making these posts talking about, you know, I come with fans. I come with fans, bitch. That's because you have a pussy. You have a pussy. That's why you come with fans. But when a man come with fans, a woman already know it's more it's more to it than just the dick. And that's what makes them upset the most. But why y'all can't just follow suit and understand and just, you know what I'm saying? Every man had cocky minds, man, back in the back in the days. Back in the days of old, back 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 in the them, them biblical days. 
before this, before all this goofy shit, this propaganda and this uh, the feminism and all that goofy shit, and all these laws that been in place by you know what I'm saying elites, bro, bro, we we had cocky minds. Most alpha of alpha men had concubines that had more than one woman. Now all of a sudden it's a problem. You read them comments, them comments say at least he's honest. At least he's honest. At least he's honest. He's 19. He's 19. He's not, he's 19. He, she's 26. What do you expect? We expect to follow suit and follow in line. Women always say they want a leader, but when it's time for them to follow a leader, they don't want to follow him. You think she finna fuck with a nigga? Better than NLE Chopper? No. No. I, where, she gonna, you think she gonna upgrade? No. She's not gonna upgrade. <laughs> I think she got a downgrade. Hey, baby girl, just like you need attention from not just me, from all your suitors, I need them fat ass pussy guts. <laughs> I need them fat ass pussy guts, not from just you, because I know you ain't gonna wanna always give me the guts anyway. Goodbye.